What's crack lacking guys? Hope you're well. Hope you've been doing good. Um, I'm back, I guess. And sorry I've not made a video in ages. Uh, thank you to everyone that subscribed to this channel recently. Thank you to all you guys that constantly have been subscribed to the channel. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Um, guys, I just want to give you updates on what's been going on. And uh, as mentioned, I do apologize not keeping up the content. Uh, I've got a few, I had a few things going on and stuff like that. Not personally with me, but family. Um, so, uh, I'll kind of get into that maybe in this video, maybe in not. But I don't want to kind of drag the video, the videos too long these days. I want to try and just make quick, simple videos and kind of keep to the point. So, um, maybe I'll kind of talk about a little bit now and then we can move on uh from now after this video we can just continue moving on and getting on with what we need to do uh, as you can see i'm in a different car so it's not the f10 m5 that car is long gone it's sold now uh did put the ttrs up for sale as well i was going to sell the f10 m5 sell the ttrs and hopefully have enough money to buy a gtr what happened is sold the f10 m5 uh did sell the ttrs but i was meant to get an mot done for the car and then tell the guy so he can come pick it up i never got around to getting the t uh tt mot um and i decided that you know i didn't really want to sell it my heart was not in selling it because it's a really good car for the money i mean for the same price i paid for that car you could have got a 135i you know you know there's not much you really golf r still expensive as well golf r's a ttrs is you know in my opinion with the five cylinder and stuff like that sounds a lot better than a golf r even though i would love a golf r so um i mean really really would love a golf r but for the fact that the five cylinder car it was a six speed manual um it's just a badass car put so much time and effort into that car had the custom exhaust made um custom exhaust made got the miltech back box center cat delete or silencer delete so it's literally going to be a, a free inch all the way back to the miltech back box I do have the cold intake as well, which is a monster for intake. I think that's about three, three and a half inches wide, the cold intake. It's a beast of intake. So we're kind of really on the point where we can get a lot of power out of the car. And uh, all I needed really was a intercooler, high pressure fuel pump, and get the car remapped. Flat foot shifting, um, launch control pops and bangs uh you name it so you know for me to sell the car on after doing all that kind of stuff would have been really a shame i would never get another ttrs for that money unless it was a write-off or even an rs3 or the matter of fact you couldn't even get a manual uh in the rs cars in the rs3 shall i say not rs cars so um that's the deal with what's going on with that um anyways guys i did end up selling the f10 m5 as mentioned and what i did with the money um I ended up paying, I had a load of stuff to pay off. So loans, uh, stuff like that. And what I'd done, I just thought, you know what? With that money there, instead of me keep having loads of outgoings every month, paying for loans and everything else, I literally just paid everything off. Um, so I'm sort of starting again from the bottom, if that makes sense. I do have the TTRS, which uh, we can slowly now work on the TTRS. Um, and that's another thing as well. With the amount of money I was paying on outgoings, you know, it was kind of more money going out than it is coming in if that makes sense so now that i kind of you know don't have nothing to pay i still there's loads of stuff to pay but now i don't have as much to pay you know i might have a little bit of money to kind of move on with the project maybe one month get coilovers or two months put the money you know you know how it works sort of thing so um yeah guys so a lot of stuff's been going on as as mentioned um so i kind of want to just move on with uh, what i'm doing in life and i want to kind of take certain things a different approach to certain things and kind of like be a bit more serious with the way i do things and that way this channel will will succeed rather than me continue buying expensive whips and it's not cheap to run them kind of cars uh, f10 and 5 was killing it on fuel so yeah i rather not have an expensive car that costs loads to run and have loads of outgoings as well because i'm end up going to go more further back in life rather than go forward in life so uh, that's just kind of my opinion on things uh, I want to start again now so it's a good time for you guys that have subscribed to the channel all you OG subscribers as well thank you very much as mentioned guys I do still appreciate it and uh, without you guys subscribing to the channel and still being subscribed to the channel I probably wouldn't have made a video today because I was actually thinking of just con not doing another video you know that's kind of what happens when you not do a video for ages you just think oh might as well just not do another one but um yeah I've got um 
a new car uh, and this is a BMW X3 it's a 2005 it's a two litre diesel I'm starting to fall in love with diesels because simple fact just cheap to run and I needed a car for the family and just to get around and stuff like that and I just needed a car that you know it's not going to cost a fortune to go up and down every time I need to go to the shops or something like that so it's a practical car and it's going to be a fun project seeing what I can actually get out of this because I plan on uh, doing this car up, um, getting a remap. I've been watching a lot of diesel cars, uh, officially gassed as well. Uh, he's had a few diesel cars and that's sort of something that's really made me fall in love with diesel. I, mean, I was like, whoa, these things are killing it. Uh, they just seem fun to have uh, the way that they're remapped and stuff like that. They just seem like jokes. So, I mean, for the price of having this car here, and getting a remap done and slowly building it you know to just a decent everyday car um and considering what i paid for it for a daily car this is going to be an absolute bargain of a, a project really um it's got 142 i'll get into that in a minute we'll check it out um i will show you the car around before i talk anymore so let me do that and then get back in the car and continue chatting about it Let's check the car guys. The cinematics is no point. Let's just get to the chase and have a look at this bad boy whip. You can see that we've got some slight damage here. Um, not to say bothers, I mean, I'll tell you the price of the car, but that's what it looks like. And I do love the way that that looks. I mean, look at the lines on it. I mean, if you can see what I can see in this car, sort of that look, a uh, little four by four. Look at the lines on this bad boy nice you know got good tires they look sort of semi winter tires if that makes all terrain i guess uh good discs not too bad underneath there as well it's actually really clean car um as mentioned as mentioned two liter d that boy looks like it has let me step a bit back hmm. yeah have a look at that it's looking all right man it's got a nice little look to it Got some good tyres there all round again. This there, good. Look at the shocks. Uh, it's all right, man. Needs a good clean. Look at the back view. And yes, mate. I think it looks all right, man. Uh, I'll start it up. A key on. Let's get the thing. All the lights work. We do have an airbag light that occasionally comes on and goes off and comes on. Mileage is 142, just say 143, might as well say that. Um, six speed. Car needs a good clean, but there's nothing fancy about it. It's just straightforward, no electric seats, uh, no auto, nothing. Just a basic, does the job. One sec, pop the bonnet. That's it there, two litre. Needs a good clean. Uh, but as you can see, guys, it's really clean in here. Really, really, really clean. There's no rust, uh, nothing like that. That just needs a good wipe down. You know, no rust, nothing like that. Uh, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Little diesel, bang, bang. All the lights work. Actually, we do need to replace some bulbs. Um, but yeah. Picked up the lights. Uh, bell seems to be running nice. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. Turn it over good. Rev. Listen, that turbo. And look at that cloud of smoke. I'm no diesel expert guys, but every time the car is left sitting for 10 minutes, you know, or so, um, start the car up and give you a rev, good rev, a little bit of smoke comes out. But other than that, when the car is running, it's normally fine. But when you put your foot down, it's not bad. Uh, car's got loads of power, everything like that. Engine seems to run fine, could just need a good service. I have ordered some parts and I will be doing an air filter change. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do the fuel filter myself. I'll check how to do that before I get into anything. Um, 
and it potentially might even need a new set of glow, uh, glow plugs. So, yeah, guys, this is a little project that we have. It's going to be a daily, daily run around car. So if you ever see me doing something, going to pick up parts, this is going to be the new workhorse. Um, other hand, on the other hand, for the TTRS, guys, I am not sure what I'm doing with that car yet. As I mentioned, um, I could buy a turbo kit for the TTRS and... It's about, I think, £1,500, £1,600 for a hybrid turbo um, that I have seen online. And get the car remap, then I could potentially go up to about five five fifty or something like that break. Not too sure. Um, so I don't know really what I want to do yet with the car. Because obviously doing that to the car is about £1,500. Then the remap is going to be like about a grand. High pressure fuel pump. Uh, high pressure fuel pump remap. Um, that's going to be all in just I think eleven hundred pound. I was quoted for them to fit it and supply the high pressure fuel pump and remap the car as well. So that's going to be an extra two and a half grand on top as well. So the car is going to then owe me quite a bit more money. And will I ever get that money back? I need to decide if I really want to keep that car. If I do want to keep it, then I will go ahead and do it. So a lot of trading up um, is going to be coming. This car was actually bought to be traded up. Uh, to be traded up. Uh, how much did I pay for this car? £800. I paid £800 for this car. So after a good clean um, and give it good service, I think the car, if I want to sell it, I could potentially get about £1,600, £1,700 for this car. Um, it's a really good car, runs and drives, has done over 2,000 miles in it as well. So uh, we can start up fresh uh, from doing our trading up from this car and we can slowly work our way to something else and hopefully again, uh, this time, uh, summertime next year, we got something decent enough to come. We still could sell the TTRS as well and get something else. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Sorry I'm talking so fast, guys. I don't want to drag these videos on any longer than I need to. So, now that you people seen the car, uh, let me know for all you people that will watch these videos. Um, let me know what you think I should do. Keep the TTRS um, or sell it on and... You know, maybe get a Golf R or something like that. Uh, something that would be a bit more easier to tune and, you know, a DSG as well. So everyday living might be uh, kind of put in mind there. The nice thing as well is I, I am looking for like a little four-wheel drive car. Uh, so I was thinking if I got rid of um, the TTRS, I could get like a little Subaru or an Evo or something like that. Something that could be, you know, a bit of fun. I don't know what to do so comment below let me know what you think i should do guys uh this is just a an intro uh, video i just thought i'd show you the the new car we got and uh kind of give you a little update of what's going on uh ttrs has recently got an mot done as well and it passed with no advisories as expected it did have new brakes it's got decent tires the car is immaculate regardless of mileage that car has always been a clean car since i got it. it's had a new clutch uh, looking for the papers as well was actually had a stage one map on it as well ECU map um, So it is a stage one car. Uh, I've always thought it was pretty rapid anyways um, It will need engine mounts. It will need a few things if I'm gonna go big power So there's it's gonna be quite a big build, but it's gonna be a fun one at the same time uh, So let's see what I can do Maybe just keep the TTRS and kind of slowly work on the car I know that the more I put into it I'm never gonna get back and that's just the facts of it um, so I need to really kind of decide what's going to be working um, But yeah guys, thanks a lot anyways for watching the video Sorry, I've kind of Dragged on this video so much and uh, see you people in the next one comment below, please Let me know what you guys think and um, Next video we will have to be cleaning this car out and I will be definitely having to clean the TTRS out I keep saying it but I will be getting on to it now. Um, it's got a lot of stuff I need to do as well. It's getting really cold as well. So I need to get the car cleaned. And at least put some wax on it. So it's uh, kind of protective for the winter as well. So stay tuned and see you guys in the next one. Um, I do need to pick up parts for this car. So we will go and do that in another video. So yeah guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, stay safe. Be safe. And see you people in the next one guys. Peace out. Bye bye. <laughs>